Hey everybody, what's up? It's Spence here, and today I ask, can I make it through a video of Dorky Doodles, or sorry, <laughs> Dorky Development, with my hair looking like this? Uh, and I think I can. <laughs> it's, uh, I did one of those things where I washed it before I went to bed, and then it just, it got all fluffy. Uh, but I actually kind of like it the way it looks. kind of looks, you know, it's a, it, it's a bit much, but I like it right now. Um, okay, that's enough of me obsessing over my hair, like I always do. I really like my hair, but I don't like it when it's not, I don't, you know. Anyway, today, dorky development time, we are going to talk about doing new shit. Trying new things. It's a super big, important part of life, and, um, you really have to do it, or else you'll never know what are the things you like, right? You can't know what you like unless you do new stuff. It seems pretty obvious, right? But um, the other hand is, well, if it's that obvious, why, does, why don't we all do it? Why don't we all just try new stuff every day and live lives like that? Um, the, the answer is probably because uh, it, it's just a natural part of the human uh, condition to be uh, creatures of habit. And it's like a, it's to conserve, it's like a survival base. Like, I mean... There's a lot of other reasons, but, like, all kind of, uh, goes back to, like, a survival mentality, right? Where you're like, well, I don't want to, I, I, I'm on, anytime there's something, you're doing something new, there's a potential for, uh, danger, basically, right? And not really, right? We live in a pretty safe time, uh, uh, considering the, the past history of the Earth. Uh, so new things are not as dangerous as new things were... <laughs> A long time ago, but we still have this uh, built-in habit of, um, I wouldn't say fear of new things, but it's also kind of just like a, uh, a laziness and a conservation of energy type mindset where I'm like, oh, I don't want to, well, what if I do like it and I get involved with it and then I, now what am I, and then Mondays I'm going to have to do that and then I'm going to, it's going to take up more of my time and I don't have, yeah, that's, you people, like, I'm, I'm doing a really uh, good job of painting a picture of why people are like, they never want to do new things. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm just, I, we have to explore that to make sure we understand what's going on. But what I'm here to talk about is why you should do new things. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to give a little example right now with myself. Uh, this isn't the first time I really got into it, but uh, I've, ha I've been having a lot of time off. And, um, you know, basically been sitting around being bored. Which is another thing that I think a lot of people should do is they should sh sit around and be bored because when you sit around and become bored, um, that's when you're like, okay, 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 I have to do some new stuff because I'm getting super bored. But you need to kind of let yourself become bored and let yourself uh, fall out of old habits by kind of sitting around and doing nothing sometimes. Sometimes you can just get right into things. But, <laughs> but anyway, I was kind of sitting around being bored. Uh, not doing much, uh, kind of enjoying it a lot, actually. Um, but after a while, you, you go, okay, well, what do I got to do? What do I got to do here? Um, and I was just like, oh, my back hurt. And I didn't even really think about doing this, but I was like, oh, my back kind of hurts. You know, I spent a lot of time at the computer. It's, oh, it's not good. My back hurts. And then I'm going like, oh, to gonna look up how to stretch my back and maybe look up some yoga, right? And so I looked some of that stuff up. And I just started doing it kind of out of boredom, but also because my back, you know, it just kind of hurt and stuff. And I haven't been doing it very long, three or four days, about a week-ish. Uh, and, you know, I feel great. I feel awesome. Like, my back is nice and loose and loosey-goosey and feels good. And I'm just like, man, you know, I could really, I could really get into this and keep doing this because it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun uh, walking around with my back not hurting as much as it used to do, right, or it used to be, not hurting as much as it used to be or do, <laughs> and I speak uh, in front of people, this is funny, um, but anyway, I guess the, the big lesson that's gained from all this is not only is yoga good for your back and your health, but um, trying out Especially in like the self development world that uh, I try to preach and uh, uh, put out there for people, um, you need to try and experience these new things, especially like these little things that um, maybe you associate with um, with um, 
a self development thing like little things that like oh people are like oh well you should you gotta meditate man or like oh man you gotta do yoga or like oh man you gotta eat healthy stuff man it's so good and it you ha- you do have to experiment with these things because sometimes it's just like oh man I just I just want to live my life I just want to eat my oh, I just want to eat my pizza man and I, I I'll tell you I just I just want to eat my pizza all right all I want to do is eat my pizza I'm gonna eat it it's good I like it. I'm gonna keep eating it, but it's good to experiment with like the th- like little other things just to um, just to be a little bit more healthy, uh, and not even just you know health related things like uh, reading, right? Things that are good for your mind, things that are good for you, you know, things that people out there are like, oh yeah, this is like a good thing for people to do. Like it's it's healthy not just for your body, healthy for your mind, healthy for your mental health. Uh, your self-esteem, like doing healthy, uh, little just little little bits of healthy things to just improve your life. Little little one percent improvements, they go a long way. And uh, that's that's the big experience here is that that's the big lesson learned is that these little things, just trying out these little new things, even if you don't stick with them. Like obviously you want to stick with them, you want to develop uh, willpower and stuff like that. But it's like it's not about doing something you don't want to do. It's about wanting to do things. That's the big uh, hurdle that I feel like most people uh, struggle with. Is that they go like, well, I don't want to do yoga. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be. Uh, I just want to do my thing. Yeah. Man, I can get I can get pretty ugly looking pretty quick if I try. Yeah, I don't know, man. I got these teeth. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I should do that face more often. Uh, no, but yeah, I guess that's just the little life lesson of today is that um, you should try out little 1% easy to do things that might make your life a little bit healthier, a little bit happier, and just try them out. Try all these little 1% little things. They're not hard to do. You know, they don't take up much time, really. Uh, they take up a little bit of time because. I guess the lesson I'm learning is, oh yeah, the reason I figured all this out is because I had the time to figure this all out. <laughs> but, that's not an excuse. Uh, not having time is not an excuse. That's a whole other video. Um, but yeah, that's that's really it for today. Just try... Go out there. Try try one little thing. One thing that you read about, one thing that you heard that someone said, like, oh, I do this and I feel great now. You should go out and try that. I recommend yoga because it's nice. It stretches my back, feels good. Feel like I lost a little bit of weight, even it was, even though it's been like four days. Uh, you know, just looking good, feeling good. Uh, yeah. So go out there and try new stuff. And uh, if you like what I had to say, you uh, you're all about this kind of stuff. Uh, subscribe, Arino, to my channel, Roni, and uh, I'm gonna hit you up with some more knowledge in the future. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.